Hello and welcome to the show. On today's silly car build, we have got a BMW 2002 Turbo. I haven't driven this car at all on Forza 5. In fact, I think I may have driven it possibly once on Forza 4. I haven't really, <laughs> never really used this car before. So I thought I would, I would give it a go. It's a fairly, fairly smallish, fairly lightweight car. Which means that when I put a lot of power into it, it should be interesting to see what <laughs> what on earth happens. Also, it has an interesting engine option that uh, that we can put in it. Ooh, are we going to? Ooh, there we go. We are going to get here. Uh, we have all sorts of uh, various things. We could put an inline four. We could put a turbo rally engine in it if we wanted to. We could have a V8, or we could have this 3.2 liter inline six. The, this, again, this is another engine that doesn't come in very many cars, from what I can tell. So we're going to give this one a go. We're going to, yeah, stick this engine in it, see how much power we can get out of this car. It is going to be fairly lightweight as well. Uh, yes, we'll go for a turbo. So the power to weight ratio should be pretty good. Might make it a little bit hard to control. That's kind of the idea, though. Uh, <laughs> as far front arrow is just block out the headlights. That's all you need to do. Oh, and add on a tiny little lip. I'm not sure if that's how aerodynamics work, but sure. We shall go for that one. What else have we got? Have we got a silly... I want a silly rear wing, but we're not going to get it. Nope, we're going to... Effectively get exactly the same... Now, hold on. Oh, it's not quite the same. <laughs> it's not quite the same angle. It's almost identical to the, the stand wing, apart from slightly supported differently. It's a little, yeah, it's a little bit different angle going on there. Okay, I'll let you off on that one. And bumper, I'm presuming we can remove the trim. Yeah, we might as well do that. Save some weight. Uh, okay, on to tyres, of course. We are going to want racing tyres. We're going to want as much grip as we can get out of this car. Again, this is another fairly old car that while it was a, a, a sports car at the time, it's not going to be designed to deal with the 800, 900 horsepower that we are <laughs> we are going to go and put through it. So yes, we want all of the, the tyres, tyres, tyre widths we can get. We want all of this. I'm guessing the yeah. Well, we want all of this. I, I yeah. Never mind. My brain brain was having having a moment there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want the gearbox for for some sensible gear ratios. We're going to want to dump all of the uh, all the weight out and the diff so that we don't have a one tyre fire going on when we try to uh, <laughs> launch it off the line. Brakes are going to be very important as we've seen many a time. This car should be okay on brakes. The Mercedes last time that struggled I think it was a, well, it was a much heavier car than this so we should dump all the weight out of it. It might not be too bad on the braking front still not going to be quite as good as I would probably like from it. Uh, just just, just thinking, I mean, the, the Impala got stopped really well when you consider Impala was about the same weight as the Mercedes and that thing got stopped a hell of a lot easier than the Merc so yeah I'm not quite sure what factors in to make the cars on here have, have the brakes have the brakes but as you see with the efficiency thing it's pretty much 3% is the most if they're three steps yet some cars seem to have quite better quite sort of significantly better brakes than they I don't know how, I don't know how it all works um, in here uh possibly you would, would wheel well in reality I guess if you had wheel bigger wheels you could fit bigger brakes but that doesn't work on like that on here so I don't know <laughs> I I do not know on that one um okay well we're chucking on some parts I don't know how powerful this engine can go uh yeah it's going to be pretty powerful by the by the looks of things, we haven't got a twin turbo charge option. Maybe, ooh, maybe not quite as. M I, ooh, I think I've clicked on that again. Goddamn, for <laughs> for the five menus, not quite as as quick as you can spam through the fours of four ones. All right, seven hundred thirty. Uh, please add on lots of horsepower turbo. Yes, that's more like it. Nine hundred twenty-eight. Yes, plenty of power from this. Okay, in fact, this has got to be by far the most powerful. It's more powerful than the V6s. More powerful than the V8s. What are we up to now? 974. Yeah, this is one of the most powerful engines. It's an inline six. That's pretty good. That's, that's a lot of power they got out of this. Uh, out of this engine. 974 horsepower. 
Okay, in a car that weighs 2,200 pounds. And I'm going to go try to drive it around a track now. Oh god, please don't kill me BMW. Right, as per usual with our silly car builds, we are going to go to our test track, which is the Sebring Club Circuit, where I attempt to beat the lap time set by a V8 supercar. The supercar did it in 1 minute 8.1, and I've got to try and beat it now with my, quite frankly, silly uh, BMW. And I've all got to do this within the four given laps. I'm fairly nervous of this car, perhaps not quite as uh, terrified of it as I was with the C63, but this is still going to be quite hard to drive, I would presume. Okay, we're off the line. How do we do with with wheel spin? Hmm, <laughs> I think this could be quite a difficult, a difficult car to get around here. Uh, handling is pretty good though. It's got pretty good turning through that first corner. Uh, right, no, that's. That's not working. That's not working. Fifth gear, that's good. A uh, little lift through there. Then we can go on full power. How do we do on the stopping front? Mm, yeah. Not quite as good as I would like. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> once, once that kicks in, that is going sideways. Right. Leads it again. Drive it like I drove a Mercedes and we might be okay. I think it's a little bit better, though. I think it's a bit better. Uh, putting the power down. Yeah, I mean, I can be more aggressive on the throttle. Yeah, it's going to spin the wheels up. We know it's going to do that quite a bit. Ooh, bloody hell. <laughs> but you can definitely be flat out more in this car than you could with the Mercedes. Uh, right, around the final corner. There we go. I'm short shifting. Can we eventually get it to stop spinning? No, not really. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to be flat out around that corner in one car. It appears that this is not that car. A pretty damn quick opening lap, all things considered. I think this may go quickest that we've had around here. Ooh, get in a... <laughs> nope, that's not going to end well. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. That's not quite well. <laughs> I broke did it. Fortunately, I think I had damage turned off by accident. I'm very, very glad I have. Um, okay, that was a... We've, we've not smashed the windscreen up. It's fine, we can carry on. Just don't look to the left slightly. <laughs> God, dear. Okay. This is not as bad on power delivery as the Mercedes was. It's not, it's not as bad, it's not as difficult to drive as that. The problem is now I'm trying to push it a little bit more than I was with the Mercedes. And if this car gets twitchy on you, it doesn't really like it. And it will throw you quite vigorously onto the grass. And if you do that and you're heading sideways at the time, which you probably will be because, you know, you're spinning it. Ah, I can't. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's a little on the twitchy side, this. Which is not surprising, considering we've got a lot of power in a fairly light car. Hmm. Okay, well this lap is not going to beat the V8 Supercar's time. Let's, let's try on the next one. I definitely think it can. I definitely think it can quite easily. God. <laughs> yeah. I, I one time I will build one of these cars that can take these 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 kinks on the straight flat out. I, I don't know what one it will be, but something will be able to. I really hope it will anyway. Okay, careful does it around here. Now, don't get carried away on the throttle through here. You can be so near to flat out, but not quite. <laughs> oh, we might have braked a little bit low. No, we haven't. We got away with it because we were going fairly slow anyway. Uh, right. Put the power on. Kind of. I need to be more gentle than that because we're going sideways and avoid the curbs. Right, then we've got a couple of slow corners. Bloody hell. <laughs> Just turning in there is enough to let the back end of the car uh, sort of go all slidey. Don't put a wheel on the grass because that would be silly. Turned into this one. Gen nope, that wasn't <laughs> Was it gentle enough? I'll just short shift, that'll do the trick. And then we'll fly into the final corner. Ooh, and then we are not quite flat out. Ah, I really want <laughs> I really want it to be able to be flat out there. It just can't do it. It doesn't have the rear end grip. And we are across the line. Ooh, we've got some work to do. 
on this final lap. Come on, BMW. We have got to find half a second if we are going to beat the V8 supercar. And I'm not convinced. Ugh, it's going to be it's going to be tight. Got to, can't go as fast through there. Oh crap! We know we've got a little bit of understeer as well. We're 0.1 of a second out. That's not going to be enough. We need to find oh, more time. So it's cautious, cautious, easy-ish on the power through here. Ah, it's too much wheel spin, I think, from the bend up. Oh, snagged a brake. Oh, I just about got away with it, but we're going to be a bit slow. Ah, locked up the front wheels coming into that corner. Oh, God. If we can get a good run down the start-finish sort of straight-ish bits. Oh, we are actually up on the time. Oh, God, this is going to be really close. <laughs> it's going to be really close. Come on, get the power down. Just... Please stop giving me oversteer here. If we could just be knees and tidy through this bit, which we are this time, and then then go run for the line car. It's going to do it. Just. <laughs> Only just, though, from the 2002 Turbo. 1 minute 8.0. It is quicker than the V8 supercar, but it did end up on his roof at one point. So I'm not sure if that counts as a mark against the BMW. I think it probably should. Okay, yeah, this is pretty damn crazy. Again, it's another one that's not the worst car I've ever driven, and it's not too bad on power delivery, everything considered. It's very twitchy, though, if you get it wrong. It is not at all forgiving. <laughs> this car, yeah, that's, that's a pretty intimidating one to drive. But it went quicker than the V8 supercar, just about. Now it is time to see how well it does in a straight line. We've got nearly a 1,000 horsepower, but again, not the most aerodynamical of vehicles. I'm thinking... I'm going to go with 230 again on this one. I'm thinking 230 sounds like a a fairly sensible guesstimate of the cars. Yeah, look at that. I was I guessed it right, but now we're going to dump the air. Oh, that's damping. Don't want to, don't want to dump all the damping off. That would be... <laughs> that would not be a good idea. Okay, we dump all the aero off to... What? What? Huh? Maybe it's gearing then. Maybe that's the gearing that gives it up at that speed. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> How does take it? There we go. <laughs> it ran out of gears. Okay, 240. Oh, looks like 240 is about as good as we're going to get it. 240.5. That's quite quick. That's, that's not bad at all for this. Uh, oh, gone too far. Le Mans, that's where we want to go. Le Mans. Circuit with a very long straight. What could I see going wrong with this? Uh, bumps, possibly, could be the downside. Normally the lighter cars will struggle with the bumps. I mean, your main concern here is really the corner at the end of the straight. If if I hit the bumps a little bit wrong, that could, could throw the car around. I think it should be all right. It's not quite as ludicrously light as some cars we've had. Aero-wise, on these first few corners getting to the straight, you know, I don't think it'll be... I don't think it'll be the worst. And it won't be necessarily easy to drive. How long do we keep spinning the wheels? Now we stopped spinning the wheels already. Much more easy to put the power down than the Mercedes. That's hardly surprising. How do we fare through here? <laughs> uh, as expected, quite oversteery. Oh, we're not stopping in time for that one. Okay, let's get round here. Yeah, like it's not it's not absolutely shockingly bad. To drive this car with with a bit of with a bit of control on the throttle, you can get away with it. The back end will still let go on you quite easily. Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Uh, but it's not not the worst we've driven. Uh, woo! <laughs> God damn it! I will control this car eventually. Okay, we looks like we're going to run wide. Don't touch the steering at all or any of the power. We've got across the bumps. Oh, oh dear! Didn't like that. And again, didn't like. <laughs> If I'm on the power going over a bump, it does not like it. Can't quite deal with that, which scares me down this straight. Again, we're up to 200 miles an hour. Just as we just about get on the straight bit, we'll hit 200 already. Yeah, pretty quick. I'll give it that, pretty quick. The aerodynamics, I presume, is what lets it down. Yeah, we now got to 230. We're struggling on, on the speed front. Are we going to get to the 240 mile, mile an hour mark? Try and keep it in the middle. I don't think we're going to run out of straight. I think it probably could do it, but we're not. We're going to run out of straight because we're going to go uphill and around a corner. 239 it flashed to. 
Here we go. Into the corner. Uh, dealt with the bumps. Oh, Christ. <laughs> it, I was about to say it dealt with the bumps okay, and it did. And then I started turning the corner, and it lifted the front wheel up in the air. <laughs> At 200 miles an hour, you do not want a car to be lifting its front wheel up in the air. That's not good for probably more 230 miles an hour. Um, okay. That's a, <laughs> that's a scary characteristic. Fortunately, there is about one corner that you take that much speed. And that's where I just drove it around. Can't think of any other corner that matches that one there for speed. Mm, no, there isn't. <laughs> Even Spa and Road America that have a couple of very fast corners won't be travelling that fast. So, apart from that, there's no... no <laughs> No really strange characteristics to this car. Yeah, these, it's, it's, again, like many of these vehicles, it's a, you've got to be careful with the throttle. It's not as twitchy as I thought it might be. It can't, if you get a little carried away, it is twitchy, but it's not not terrible. You do, you do still have to be a little bit careful, as I proved, by managing to put it onto its roof. But uh, here we go. That is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.